Nevertheless, I'm not going to talk about my stolen bike here. Instead, I'm going to share with you uh, some tips on how... Don't forget to settle it at the cashier before leaving the shop. So this is the new bike that I bought from Dino. In Edison, I'm going to tell you my personal reason why I bought this bike. Hi, it's Didi Lejawane. Who doesn't feel irritated when the bike you like was stolen by someone? No matter what the nature of the bike is. Well, at least this happened to me recently that my bike was stolen or got stolen uh, when I parked and locked it in the basement where I live in the apartment here in Geneva. I guess that this thief doesn't need my bike for her or his daily transport or resells my bike as he or she uh, needs some cash. Well, I hope that this thief lives happily and lives peacefully. Gone is gone and I had to accept it because it would be time consuming for me if I had to report to the police before claiming it to the insurance company. Nevertheless, I'm not going to talk about my stolen bike here. Instead, I'm going to share with you uh, some tips on how to select a new bike before purchasing it. So what are the steps you should know before purchasing your bike and why? Stay tuned, don't go anywhere, don't forget to click subscribe this channel, I'll be right back after this intro. So the following steps that you need to know before deciding on purchasing a new bicycle are first, you need to do some online research for the type of bike. Why you need to do this? Because you will be able to identify or to know the kind of bike that fits you. This can be mountain bike, city bike, or other type of bike with some specifications. Then you can ask yourself whether you will use the bike for everyday activity or simply occasionally and this will help you make the right decisions. So while doing some online research at the same time you can see the price and think of the next step which is budget. Why you have to consider about budget? Because this will affect the total amount of money in your saving account. You know the better quality of bicycle you need and you want will cost you more. Till here, am I making sense? So again, it really depends on how much money you are about to invest or allocate for a bike that meets your desire. And the next thing, which is the third step that you need to know and to do is check out the reviews from the previous users or uh, previous uh, buyers for specific bike that you want to buy. Why you need to do this is because it can save you money. It is indeed time consuming, you know, because you have to check one by one the feedback or the reviews from the previous buyers. You know, reading um, negative feedbacks or seeing the number of stars from the previous buyers can impede uh, you buying a bike. Even though the bike correspond to your budget or requ uh, requirements and if that's the case then you have to find another type of bike as an alternative otherwise you find positive feedback for a specific bike that you want then you can buy so now the next step which is the fourth step is that you need to know your height and your weight why because it affects the size the frame and also the weight of your bicycle the bike or you the, the bike that you want uh, can be at size M L or XL depending on your height and weight and the next is the fifth step you have to visit the shop and ask the staff if you have or you want to know more about the bike that you want and 
make a test drive if you are lucky I mean if the bike you want is available in the display this test drive gives you first impressions and if you find it interesting then it's time or best time to deal or to close the deal you can do two things either you order it to the staff or you can do it by yourself online through online platform or you can write as you go out of the shop if the bike is in the uh, shop stock however don't forget to settle it at the cashier before leaving the shop so how do you find these tips well I hope this helps you to define and helps you to make a right decision on what kind of bike that you need and want to buy and how much money you want to spend on it by the way what's this one so this is the new bike that I bought from Decathlon a few days ago it is a city bike a type Elops Hope Rider uh, 500 long distance and the size L which corresponds to my height and weight I'm gonna be using this bike as frequent as I want because I want to prove whether there are minor or major issues um, on the, as, as uh, other users or buyers say in the Decathlon's website. In addition, I'm going to tell you my personal reason why I bought this bike. And also, of course, I'm going to share my experience with you related to this bike and therefore stay tuned in my YouTube channel. So, leave comment, leave feedback, don't forget to click like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. I'm Didi Lojavani. Again, thanks a lot for watching my video and see you next time. Ciao.